Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm going to do today my mid-September wrap-up. Um, the reason being is I've got to do a wrap-up now because if I leave it to the end of the month there's going to be tons and tons of books again. I've already finished 11 books this month. My friend's husband calls me a reading machine, I think he might be right. So let's go through what I've read in the first half of September. So the first book I read was as part of the um, Reader Theme Readathon, which was to read some short books. So I read Agatha Raisin and the Potted Gardener by M.C. Beaton. Now this obviously, I've got notes here, I'm just going to have a quick look. Um, so this is a small crime novel. Uh, quick fun read that I've noted. Uh, it's a series of books, you can read them in any order, although obviously it makes sense to read them in the correct order. Um, each one contains a fiendish murder that our heroine, Agatha, goes out and tries to solve and it's wonderful writing. It's just nice and easy to read, they don't take a lot of thinking about. So yes, I gave this one 3 out of 5 because, the, you know, the characterisations aren't amazing but the, the writing style is just nice and easy to read. So, nice and easy read there. Uh, the second book I read was the, I think it's book 4 of a trait of, um, the Chronicles of St Mary's, which is A Trail Through Time by Jodie Taylor. I really love this series. Um, more madness as they jump around time. In this one, Max and Leon are on the run from the time police. And this culminates in the Battle of St Mary's where there's this great big fight between the time police and the historians and everybody else. I mean, this is so much fun. And this time they, they visit a frost fair on the Thames. Um, Archonatant uh, Egypt, which is the 18th dynasty, it was my favourite era of ancient Egypt actually. Um, Archonatant is thought to be the father of Tutankhamun. So yeah, I mean I really love these books, they're just nice reads, I've still got three more. The next one doesn't come out until next year. Hmm. Um, after A Trail Through Time I did finish The Last Hero, again this was part of the quick reads I think. Um, I mean I love Terry Pratchett and this is a Discworld fable about the first hero, sorry the last hero giving back to the gods what the first hero took which of course is fire so and of course it's beautifully in illustrated by Paul Kidby. I, I loved it, great story, great illustration, four out of five. I gave four out of five to uh, a tra um, Trail Through Time as well by Jodie Taylor. So um, the next book I read after that was I believe an ebook. Yes, an ebook called Love Unfinished by Dorian Wilkes. Now this is a lovely story about, it starts off with two newlyweds going off in the honeymoon. When they crash their car and they both die. They're then reincarnated so many years later and they've got to find each other again to finish their love story. Um, the girl is married to a very nasty man and um, the man is running an antique shop and they meet by chance. And it's a story of how they eventually do find each other and get together. I thought it was a lovely story, a nice, it was easy to read, great characterisation, great fun, four out of five stars for that one. Another ebook I read, I read, read a lot of ebooks at work, so in, not at work because I'm working, but um, on my breaks um, before I start and on lunch and so on, so it was The Troubleshooter by um, Austin S. Caramicho. Um, tense dramatic story with um, basically a man who uh, is an ex-secret service agent he'll take jobs that nobody else wants. On this case he his apartment burns down he's got nowhere to live and so a friend somebody he's doing a job for is helping frame this bit of a mutual arrangement. Their daughter works for um, a, a guy she's a lawyer he's a lawyer but he owns some properties as well and he's got this one property in a particular area of town that he's written off because it's filled with uh, drug addicts and prostitutes and squatters and he wants it but he thinks more trouble so the troubleshooter goes in and tries to clear out all the squatters and everything and make it a nice place to live for various people um, what he doesn't know at the start is that the person who's running this setup of drugs and prostitution is actually the big, the city gangster, the crime boss in the area's son. Um, in order to try and do this, he um, enlists a gang of homeless men who have got 
a martial and, and military backgrounds to, to help. All of them have a skill that can be used. For instance, one's a plumber, one's an electrician, one's a carpenter, but they, for whatever reason, they've all ended up on their luck. And in the end, they're gonna end up renting the place. It was a great story. There was a few little issues I had with it, but not many. It was still a four out of five. It was very well fast paced uh, and the characters were really good. And, you know, getting rid of the, the trouble and the drug addicts, it was believable. Yes, another ebook I read was one I, I downloaded for when I went on holiday and never read it, and it's called Ghost Camera by Darcy Coates. Uh, basically, this girl finds a camera when she's at a wedding in a lighthouse. Okay, it's a bit odd for me, but um, it's a Polaroid camera and this film in it. And when she takes photographs with it, or when anybody takes a photograph with it, there is ghosts. There are ghosts in the picture, and this had so much promise. But it was too quick. There was no development. Um, basically, you take so many shots and the ghosts kill you. Very, you know, it's like, yeah, okay, it's a great idea. But there was no background. There was no, well, why, why are the cameras haunted? You know, and, and she goes to this, this guy who's come across a, a ghost cameras before. And why are these cameras haunted? Oh, we don't know. They just are. That's a cop out. That is a, such a cop-out. It could have been a brilliant story. There is so much you can do with a camera that takes pictures of ghosts. And you copped out, Darcy. You copped out. I wanted so much more. This isn't the only story this month that I was really disappointed in, which involves ghosts. There is another one that was even worse. So um, I did enjoy the story, and I thought it had so much promise. But the, the characterizations didn't go any further. For a start, we didn't learn that the main character was at law school until halfway through the book almost, and then suddenly she's studying. And it's like, how can she afford a really nice apartment when she's studying? But there you go. Anyway, that one I gave two out of five stars to because it was just. <sighs> Next book I read was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I gave this four out of five stars. I'm not going to go into it because you all know what it's about. It's just lovely curling up with a Harry Potter. It's like coming home. I really enjoyed it. And I love these editions as well. And I'm really, really enjoying JK's world and I can't wait to read the next one. I'm trying to read them at one a month so I, I don't have to get, they don't read the one one go and then I run out. Much like I am with the Jodie Taylors, but yeah, so four out of five for that. I do love this picture of Dobby on the back. Love him, look. Can you see that? Can you see Dobby? Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, I love him. So yes, four out of five for Harry Potter modern classic I've just put in my notes. The next book I, I read was The Graces by Laura Eve. I have done a full review out of, for, of this book which I will link down below so I'm not going to talk about this now. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. It's one of those stories that stayed with me. I read it a week ago and I'm still thinking about the twists in it. I really enjoyed it. If you're interested in, in seeing a bit more of what I think of it obviously like I said I'll, I'll link the review below. The five out of five stars for The Graces. After the Graces was another ebook, and that was called A Family Affair. I gave this one four out of five stars. It's a lovely story about a girl named Christine who works with her father in their business. Her father travels up to a cabin he owns in the Catskills every month, just for a weekend, and then he comes home. But one weekend, he's killed in a car accident. And when reading his will, his daughter finds out he had a secret family. He had a mistress and they had a daughter together named Lily. Now she wants to hate Lily and Lily's mother. Lily is Down syndrome. Lily has a half-brother named Nate um, who hates everything to do with Christine's family because all he saw was the misery that was caused every time Charles the father went back to his his wife, his first wife. Um, <clears throat> but he didn't, he, he couldn't let it go and just see the good stuff that the fact that Lily brought so much joy into their lives. So Christine discovers this family and she goes up meet to meet them because she feels she needs closure and she wants to hate them and of course she falls in love with them all including Nate. It was just a nice fun easy read. Oh it's so beautiful. I really really enjoyed it and that one was by Mary Campsey. Like I said I gave that four out of five stars. It was just lovely. It was just, oh, and the thing with that, because I had actually started reading that before, and I think it was one, one of my first Kindles broke, and I sort of, like, never never carried on reading it. But I've got managed to get to the end now, which is really good. Now, the next book was a book called Mirror Mirror, and I haven't made a note of the author. I think it was a man. I will have a look and link it in the notes below. Um, again, Mirror Mirror, Haunted Mirrors. Again, I love anything with ghosts, except for this. 
This had so much potential. Again, no characterization. The characters didn't go anywhere. There's so much again that you can do with a haunted mirror like you could with a camera. I just I just feel that the, the writing in these horror stories is just really bad. I mean I don't know whether it's because I've read so much Koontz and King and so on but these ones were just you know they were quite poorly written. No characterization you know it was just suddenly over like that and it's like Again, no history. We got no history as, as to why the mirror might be haunted and why it was picking on certain people. Nothing at all. You know, I, I want a bit of backstory, people. I want to understand why these items are haunted. No, nothing. And it was so bad. I gave it. I think I gave it one out. Of, one out of five stars. One out of five stars. I never give a one out of five stars. Whew. And that's actually book ten. We're on the last one. Book 11, and if you're wondering why I've read 11 books this month, here's a very short book. It's only 75 pages long. And I read this as part of Diversathon. And it is The Strange Library by Haruki Murakami. It's the first Murakami I've read. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know it was only 75 pages long when I uh, bought it. But uh, I wanted to read it. And, oh, I mean, look at these lovely illustrations. I mean, you can't, and, and the book smells beautiful. You can't smell it, I think it smells lovely. You know, and it's kind of like a little fairy tale, but I really, really enjoyed this story. Um, I am definitely going to be picking up some more Haruki Murakami because this was just really, really enjoyed it. Very, very, very good. And I get on the back is all I did was go to the library to borrow some books, as if you know that's a bad thing, which obviously it's not. And the little caterpillars. Oh, they're lovely. Um, it was quite freaky. And the end papers in this are gorgeous. Look at that. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful end papers. So that was book 11 this month, and that's Hiroki Marikami. I'm still trying to read The Garden of Evening Mists. I'm getting towards halfway through it now. I'm really enjoying it. And some other books. So I will be back fairly, fairly shortly with another video, probably about more books. So what have you been reading? How has your month gone? Have you, have you read anything really brilliant? Anything you can recommend me? Because I just want to read and read and never stop. I am the reading machine. So if you've got any ideas for any books, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in a couple of days or maybe later today. Who knows? Happy reading. Bye.